In the month of July 2024, the President of Kenya, Dr. William Samoe Ruto, announced that they'll be rolling out a new procurement system that will help cut cost, cap corruption, and promote transparency, among other things. Within 90 days, we shall propose amendments to the Public Finance Management Act and Public Procurement and Disposal Acts to overhaul the institutional and operational framework of public procurement, which has been identified as the epicenter of corruption, conflict of interest, and abuses of, of office in the public sector, with a view to deploying digital infrastructure within the next six months. The aim of this measure is to provide an open and transparent public procurement platform which gives open, real-time and end-to-end -end public visibility of public procurement from advertisement to award of contract and to whom it is awarded and what amount the people of Kenya will pay. Eight months down the line, the government has rolled out now the new e-procurement system by the government of Kenya. In this video, I'll be reviewing the new e-government procurement system by the government of Kenya and see how effective this will be in the future. Stay tuned. So before I get started reviewing the new e-procurement system by the government, I would like to highlight some of the challenges that we go through as a supplier in the old tendering system by the government. So first, you come here to tenders.geo.ke. This is where you find active, active tenders by the government of Kenya. And then you search for the one that is related to your field. Um, then just click on it. For example, this one, Supply Media Studio, you go to Actions, then few more details. Then from here, you can see these details for this one. And this is the tender for this advertisement. So as you can see, this is the tender and that this is the tender number. But now the challenge that we go through right now as a supplier is that you cannot apply for this tender online. You just need to now print this document fill in uh, manually then submit the document the tender document to the organization you need to find a tender that has a negotiation number so that you can now apply remotely or apply for that tender online the current procurement system is not 100 percent online they are still doing a manual acquisition so let's get now right to the new e-procurement system that is being launched. So the government aims to solve many challenges that they have been going through, through this procurement system. So let's go dive in now. So the portal is egbkenya.go.ke. So this is the new e-government procurement system whereby you can sign up as a supplier. So the services they offer is this one, procuring entity, supplier, annual procurement plan, annual disposal plan, e-tendering, e-auctions, contract management, e-catalog, open contracting data standards. So currently they are saying they've registered uh, 148 suppliers. Down here you can see they have a phone number that people can call. So probably we can try and call and see. Oh yeah, it's it's calling. Let's see. Hello, hi. Yes. My name is Mutai. Yes. I would, I just had a challenge while uh, using the EGB system. A moment, let me transfer you. Can you? Okay.
there's no reply. I can you try later. Okay, okay. Oh, it's actually a lunch hour right now, and it seems this um the contact information that is here it is functioning. So you can call them if you have any challenge in their platform and you'll be able to be assisted. So let's go to contracts so you can see contracts here. Let's click on contracts. I think that page is not ready. Procuring entities, you can see they have procuring entities here. You have suppliers and you can see they have suppliers here. Uh, you have procurement plans, there's nothing. Disposal plans, uh, page, there's nothing. E-auction, what is important today is just how to sign up as a supplier. So we need to register as a supplier. So I'll walk you through the process of registration. So click on register. So before you register as a supplier, you need to read all these instructions here. Uh, supplier documentation, pre-registration notices, supplier verification. So when you first um, register your business, um, just enter your user ID here. You need to enter your user ID and email address and click on verify business email. And that is the first step before you go to the next step. Um, once you have registered like the first step the next step will be your contact information so you need to enter your first name your middle name and gender citizenship your national id and when you enter your national id you need to verify by clicking here verify with iprs and if it's a legit id number it will be verified if it's not legit it will not be verified then you can enter your secondary email and mobile number then click on next next then on the next page you need to enter your business details so the first thing is to enter your organizational type then type of tax you pay that is non-individual company then care pin for your company you enter there once you have entered your business registration number company business name so you enter here the name of your business and click on verify and retrieve information and the system will try to re retrieve information from the business registration portal that is brs and then once you are done a uh, verification process of your company you proceed to the type of company here and procurement category you choose what you intend to supply then next then on the new page uh, select the county where your business is located um, choose the business county and then come to sub county where the business is located and as you can see all these uh, boxes are marked with asterisk which means it's mandatory you cannot skip this step so enter the verification code down here then check on the box here i agree to terms and condition and privacy policy then click on submit once you submit this information log in to the email address that you registered at the beginning um, and then check your mailbox for the credentials that is the username or the login id and the password so in your email you go to your email here you'll find the login information that is your login id and your password so you will click on uh you'll click on login you will need to change the password for your account on egb so you need to enter the new password here and click on reset and once you're done you will be logged in to your account but now you're not done yet you need to fill in other information here as you can see like the telephone contact mobile telephone contact uh, extension website address years of experience uh, if you registered with if miss you need to confirm there your if miss number and etc etc so you need to give uh, to provide additional information in order to make your company 
understood by the system once you've signed up with the system the system will uh, automatically uh, check all those information and verify every information that you have in the system and only those people who have um, all the verified information will come on top and the client will be able to make the decision on who to choose for the attender quickly will this new system be effective in capping corruption, cutting costs, and promoting transparency? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below here. Also, take time to visit my website on cheption.com to learn more. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Up until next time, bye-bye and take care.